When you've actually finished working on your picture, you may want to put it into a sort of an album, you may want to put it into a photo frame, or perhaps even publish it on a website or a book, who knows. But one thing's for sure, that you may have to sort of actually do it to a specific size. So that's what we're going to take a look at doing in this video, is creating our master copy, which is what I call this, it's the one in layers. We're going to create it to a given size, a specific size, using the crop tool. Right, to start off, if we just go to image, if we just come down to image size, this is going to tell us the pixel dimension up here of the image. Coming down, there it is there in inches, and we have the resolution. Equally, you can change it to centimeters, millimeters, points, pixels, whatever the way you like to work, you can select it from the drop-down menus. I'm going to stick with inches, call me old-fashioned or what, but there you go. Right. Next thing is, uh, this is, as I said, is what I'd call my master copy. This is the one in layers. I don't want to adjust this. I don't want to change it in any way, shape or form. So for the next stage, we're going to go back to the image menu. This time, dropping down to duplicate. When it comes to duplicate, we get the option to rename it. I don't think we need all this, so let's just take that out. Just pressing delete. Clicking on the duplicate merge layers only. That's the important part here is tick duplicate merge layers only click OK to that. That has now made a duplicate copy. There it is there. As we can see, there's our original. We can close that down. That's safe and sound out of the way. It doesn't matter what we do to this one now. As I say, our original is safely out of the way. Right, picking up the crop tool. Now for this particular one, what I want is for it to be sort of six inches on the width and nine inches on the height. So what we're gonna do is with the crop tool selected, coming up to the menu bar where it says the width we're going to put in six now the important part here is to follow it by IN for inches if you're using centimeters you put in the relevant centimeters complete with CM if you're using pixels you put in the pixel width or the the amount 1024 whatever it is and followed by PX right pressing the tab key height 9 would be pretty good again followed by IN for inches don't forget the CM or whatever you're using, followed by the tab key taking us to resolution and we're going to put in 300, job done. Picking up the crop tool, clicking down, dragging it over, you'll notice the way it's coming over very constrained, dragging into this position here. We can now drop in, we can now readjust this to that area, there looks pretty good, yeah I like that. You see we're using the rule of thirds with the crop guide here in CS5. You've also got none, you've also got the grid. So whichever one helps you compose your picture, but I like the way that's looking. Just gonna press enter or return to apply the crop. There it is, job done. We're now gonna go back to the image, dropping down to image size. You'll notice it is six by nine by 300 pixels per inch. Magic or what? But once you've actually created that, once you've created your crop tool, what you can now do is come up here, clicking on this, you have got a whole load of crop presets built in. And if you just come across, we can click on this, we can come to new tool preset. It's asking us for a name, so I'm going to call this uh, crop and just get rid of tool because we know what it is. And we can put in sort of 300 pixels so we know the exact measurement of this let's click OK to that and you'll notice it's now gone into the section there great stuff right let's take a look at another image just gonna click down let's come to this one here there it is and this one time it's in the landscape format so if I drag this across you'll notice the way the crop tool is automatically going to the portrait format if I just right click you can choose cancel all you need to do, you don't need to redo the tool, is you just click on these double arrows here. That swaps them across. Now we can come in. Now we can just recompose this with using the landscape format. Coming down, dropping that down slightly like that, and just double clicking. Way to go. And coming to image, coming down to image size, taking a look. Width 9 inches, height 6 inches, resolution 300 uh, pixels. Great stuff. Okay, just taking it a stage further, what if you wanted to do it for web use? Well, it's exactly the same. You can come in here as well. If you click clear, it gets rid of all the dimensions. The width, you may want to put in 1024, followed by PX for pixels. Tab key, 
So what are we going? 768, nearly forgot. <laughs> and we're going to go for PX for pixels. And again, tab key and the resolution this time only needs to be 72. So coming in, clicking down around this area here, dragging it out and over like that. You'll notice the way it's been constrained. So just realign in the crop tool. Let's zoom in a bit as well so we can see exactly what's happening. Pressing enter or return. There it is. Come back when I'm speaking to you. There it is. If you come now to image, image size, 1024, 768. There's the pixel dimensions there. Dropping down the resolution of 72. Job done. Once again, don't forget, come in, save it as a preset. Coming into new tool presets. There it is there. And so we're not sure we really need that in. It's just to crop and 72 job done just press enter or return right with all of these you can right click once this is open you can new tool preset you can rename the tool preset and this is where you can delete the tool preset as well don't forget once you've actually done it once you've done your cropping click clear otherwise it, you'll leave it in there and you'll come back and you'll automatically go through that same cropping thing and don't forget you can also change let's just come in if I pick this one here if you wanted to do it in the landscape format you just press the arrows there and you can swap it around that's now going to crop sorry did I say the landscape in the portrait format so you can easily just change it from the portrait style to the landscape style by clicking on the arrows like that go on give it a try it really does help to speed up your workflow building up all these crop uh, presets it's a great way producing pictures then for photograph frames for albums for books for whatever you like for websites it really does make life quicker and easier until the next time it's happy imaging and take care